went around, but he... The 1960s brought us more than just memorable fashion and cultural revolutions. It was a decade that witnessed the rise of iconic leading ladies who transformed cinema forever. Yeah, so was Julius Caesar. I didn't know him either. But you might not know all of the amazing 60s actresses on our list today. Some have been sadly forgotten. I just want to know what you are doing here the day before my wedding. We are bringing you great actresses from the German who stood up to Hitler to the number one box office star of all time in the 25 most loved actresses of 1960s. Number 25. Marlene Dietrich Born into a German family in 1901, Marie Magdalene Dietrich eventually became the proud owner of Hollywood's most famous pair of legs. From an early age, she had a profound love for music. By the 1920s, she was already captivating audiences in Berlin cabarets. It was during this time that director Joseph von Sternberg first discovered her. Their on and off screen relationship resulted in seven films, leading to successful Hollywood careers for both. Whether it was The Blue Angel, Morocco, Blonde Venus, or any of their other collaborations, von Sternberg's primary concern always seemed to be finding the perfect lighting for his star. Thanks to his perfectionism, Dietrich became a living legend, and her exotic image remained iconic even when she ventured into different genres. She starred in westerns like Destry Rides Again and comedies such as Billy Wilder's A Foreign Affair. After World War II, Marlene Dietrich chose to focus primarily on her career as a singer and performer. Her final significant film roles included Witness for the Prosecution and Judgment at Nuremberg. Despite shifting her focus to live performances, Dietrich's impact on cinema and popular culture remains indelible, as her legacy continues to inspire artists and entertainers worldwide. Number 24. Doris Day Doris Day's journey to stardom was quite unusual. As a child, she aspired to become a dancer, but a car accident left her with serious leg injuries, nearly shattering her dreams. During her recovery, Day turned to the radio for solace and began singing along. Her remarkable vocal talent soon became evident, and by the 1940s, she had already established herself as a prominent vocalist, known for iconic hits like the World War II era anthem, Sentimental Journey. I ask my sweetheart, what lies ahead? But it was her memorable on-screen partnership with Rock Hudson and three romantic comedies, including the 1959 classic Pillow Talk, that cemented her status as the number one female box office star of all time. Doris Day's enduring appeal and versatility as an actress and singer have left a lasting legacy in Hollywood and beyond. Number 23. Marilyn Monroe The story of Marilyn Monroe is a tale that transcends Hollywood and has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Born as Norma Jean Mortensen in Los Angeles, Marilyn's childhood was marked by instability, and she spent a significant portion of it in foster care. At the age of 16, to avoid being sent to another orphanage, she married a young neighbor whose family could provide a more stable environment. During World War II, while her husband was overseas, Marilyn began working in an airplane factory. Her journey to becoming an international icon was set in motion when a photographer discovered her, leading to a career as a pinup model. Hollywood quickly recognized her star potential. I liked you because you were kind. I haven't changed. And Marilyn soon appeared in small but memorable roles in well-known films like All About Eve. In 1951, she signed with 20th Century Fox, where she secured her first significant role in Don't Bother to Knock. Despite a scandal involving nude photographs, Marilyn became a major box office attraction, captivating audiences with her portrayal of the archetypal dumb blonde in films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, The Seven Year Itch, and Some Like It Hot. It seemed her ambition was finally coming to fruition when her last husband, Arthur Miller, wrote the role of Rosalind for her in The Misfits. Tragically, Marilyn's life was cut short at the age of 36 when she died of a barbiturate overdose on August 5, 1962, 
before she could fully realize her dramatic ambitions. Her legacy endures, with Marilyn Monroe remaining one of the most iconic and influential figures in the history of cinema. Number 22. Crawford's Journey to Stardom Joan Crawford's name is indelibly linked to Hollywood's golden age, and her journey from humble beginnings in San Antonio, Texas to international stardom is the stuff of Hollywood legend. Born Lucille Fay Lesseur, she initially worked as a chorus girl before MGM recognized her potential and signed her to a contract in 1925. Crawford often portrayed independent young women who worked their way up in life through sheer determination and hard work. Judy's been making decisions all by himself about Carol and Judd. A character type that resonated deeply with the Depression-era audience. Her popularity soared, especially when she shared the screen with legendary actor Clark Gable in films like Possessed and Dancing Lady. In the 1950s, she continued to secure prominent roles in such films as Johnny Guitar and Sudden Fear. Her collaboration with Bette Davis in the 1962 psychological thriller Whatever Happened to Baby Jane added another highlight to her illustrious career. Crawford's personal life was no less intriguing. She adopted five children, with one of them, Christina, famously portraying her mother's alleged abusive behavior in the controversial memoir Mommy Dearest. Number 21. Bette Davis, the iconic star. Bette Davis, often regarded as the second greatest female star in Hollywood history by the American Film Institute, made her way to Los Angeles in the early 1930s. Initially, her talents went unrecognized, but Warner Brothers saw her potential and signed her to a long-term contract. Davis quickly proved her abilities by portraying strong and often emotionally complex characters. Almost immediately, she began to receive critical acclaim, and in 1935, she won her first Academy Award for her performance in Dangerous. Very pleased. Everybody who voted for me in the Academy. Her incredible range as an actress ensured her continued success in the 1950s with films like The Masterpiece and All About Eve. Off-screen, Davis was renowned for her strong-minded nature capable of standing up to co-stars, reporters, and even studio executives. Bette Davis made a lasting impression on Hollywood, appearing in over 100 productions throughout her career. Number 20. Irene Dunn's Versatile Talent Irene Dunn, affectionately known as Dunny among friends and family, began her career as a singer. Her beautifully trained soprano voice served as her ticket to Broadway, And while touring with the musical Showboat, RKO talent scouts discovered her, despite her already being in her 30s. Dunn's remarkable and versatile talent earned her five Academy Award nominations for her roles in Cimarron, Theodora Goes Wild, The Awful Truth, Love Affair, and I Remember Mama. Surprisingly, she never secured an Oscar win, leading many to consider her one of the greatest actresses who never received the coveted honor. Cary Grant, her frequent leading man, attempted to explain the oversight by stating, she was so good that she made comedy look easy. Nevertheless, Irene Dunn herself seemed unperturbed by the lack of formal recognition, as evident from her most famous quote, acting is not everything, living is. Number 19. Joan Fontaine's Rivalry and Success Joan Fontaine, in her autobiography, asserted that both she and her equally famous sister, Olivia de Havilland, had always known from childhood that they would become actresses. Although Olivia entered the industry first, Joan soon followed, and this sibling rivalry became one of the most infamous in film history. Their rivalry came to a head at the 1942 Academy Awards ceremony, when both sisters were nominated for Best Actress, and Joan, the younger of the two, walked away with the Oscar for her role in Alfred Hitchcock's Suspicion. Everybody has um, hard times and good times. Joan Fontaine appeared in notable productions such as Rebecca, Letter from an Unknown Woman, The Women, and Jane Eyre. Her last film was The Witches in 1966. Afterwards, she ventured onto Broadway and ultimately retired to her villa in Carmel. Fontaine's legacy is a testament to her remarkable talent and her ability to overcome personal and professional challenges.
Number 18. Lauren Bacall's Rise to Fame Betty Joan Persky, known worldwide as Lauren Bacall, was the daughter of Jewish immigrants in New York. She began her career as a model. A chance encounter with the wife of director Howard Hawks changed her life forever. After a successful screen test, Bacall was cast in Hawks' To Have and Have Not in 1944. This film not only catapulted the 19-year-old into stardom, but also introduced her to Humphrey Bogart, who, at 45, would soon become her husband. The iconic couple went on to share the screen in three more films, The Big Sleep, Dark Passage, and Key Largo. Bacall's career reached new heights in the 1950s. She appeared in Douglas Sirk's Written on the Wind, co-starred with her former classmate Kirk Douglas in Young Man with a Horn, and tried her hand at comedies like How to Marry a Millionaire and Designing Woman. Tragically, Bogart passed away from cancer in 1957, just before the release of Designing Woman. Following his death, Bacall divided her time between film and stage. Some of her later notable roles include Murder on the Orient Express in 1974 and Dogville in 2003. Well, this is quite an event, I must say. This was something I never expected. Throughout her illustrious career, Bacall left an indelible mark on Hollywood and Broadway, becoming a symbol of timeless elegance and talent. Number 17. Ingrid Bergman's Legendary Career Ingrid Bergman, originally from Sweden, was one of Hollywood's most celebrated actresses, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Over the course of her legendary career, she clinched two Academy Awards for Best Actress, awarded for her exceptional performances in Anastasia and Gaslight. Bergman's collaboration with Alfred Hitchcock continued with notable films such as Notorious and Under Capricorn, further showcasing her range as an actress. In 1948, she portrayed Joan of Arc, demonstrating her ability to take on diverse and challenging roles. Her performances in these films solidified her status as one of Hollywood's top talents. Bergman's ability to convey deep emotion and complexity in her characters made her a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Later, Bergman ventured to Italy to work with director Roberto Rossellini on Stromboli. During this time, Bergman and Rossellini fell in love. She made the bold decision to leave her husband and daughter, eventually marrying the director. Tragically, on her 67th birthday in 1982, she passed away from cancer. Ingrid Bergman's legacy lives on through her remarkable body of work and the lasting impact she made on cinema. Number 16. Claudette Colbert's Versatility Born Emily Claudette Chauchouin in saint mandé France, Claudette Colbert made a significant impact on both Broadway and the silver screen. In 1906, at the age of three, Colbert and her family relocated to the United States. Though she initiated her career on Broadway, the advent of sound in cinema led her to transition to the world of motion pictures. However, one pivotal moment in her career came when she was loaned out to Columbia Pictures to star in Frank Capra's It Happened One Night. This comedy not only surprised the entire film industry, but also made history by becoming the first movie to sweep all five major Oscar categories, with Colbert winning the Academy Award for Best Actress. Colbert continued to excel in her craft as a leading lady, transitioning to freelancing, which granted her the freedom to choose her roles wisely. Her versatility shown in films such as the original Imitation of Life, John Ford's Drums Along the Mohawk, Preston Sturgis, The Palm Beach Story, and two masterful war dramas, So Proudly We Hail and Since You Went Away. By the 1950s, she had retired from the film industry to pursue roles in television and on stage. Number 15. Katharine Hepburn's Cinematic Legacy Katharine Hepburn is nothing short of a cinematic legend. She holds the record for the most Oscar wins across all acting categories and has been hailed as the most significant female star in American film history, often earning the title of the First Lady of Cinema. Her strength and independence were deeply rooted in her progressive upbringing. Her mother was a prominent feminist, and her father, a doctor, contributed to raising public awareness about venereal disease. Throughout the 1930s, she left an indelible mark with memorable roles in films like Bringing Up Baby, Holiday, and Stage Door. However, her popularity eventually waned, and she was later dubbed Box Office Poison. During the 1940s, Hepburn staged a remarkable comeback with the film The Philadelphia Story, 
her fourth and final collaboration with Cary Grant. This film revitalized her career and set the stage for her future successes. Hepburn's on-screen chemistry with Spencer Tracy, whom she met during this period, was palpable. Come around about noon tomorrow. I mean today. They became a legendary Hollywood couple both on and off the screen, co-starring in nine films together, including Woman of the Year and Adam's Rib. Their relationship lasted 26 years until Tracy's death in 1967. Number 14. Grace Kelly's Remarkable Journey Grace Kelly's journey to Hollywood stardom was marked by a determined spirit that defied her conservative family's expectations. In the 1950s, as a young woman barely out of her teens, she ventured into the world of acting. She honed her craft on the New York stage and in television, appearing in numerous live broadcasts. Her breakthrough came when she landed a leading role alongside Clark Gable in the 1953 film Mogambo. Kelly's career in film was relatively brief but profoundly impactful. She found herself among the favorite actresses of the iconic Alfred Hitchcock, working with him in films such as Rear Window, Dial M for Murder, and To Catch a Thief. Kelly's final film was High Society in 1956, in which she starred alongside Frank Sinatra and Bing Crosby. I just want to know what you are doing here the day before my wedding. At the age of 26, Grace Kelly made the momentous decision to retire from the silver screen to marry Prince Rainier of Monaco, with whom she had three children. Her transformation from Hollywood starlet to Princess of Monaco captivated the world. Tragically, in 1982, at the age of 52, she lost her life in a car accident when she suffered a stroke while behind the wheel. Grace Kelly's legacy endures, remembered for her stunning beauty, remarkable talent, and the fairy tale that defined her life. Number 13. Vivian Lee's Iconic Performances Born to British parents in India, Vivian Lee soared to fame by portraying two iconic Southern Belles on the silver screen. Her performance as Scarlett O'Hara in the legendary Gone with the Wind and her role as Blanche Dubois in Elia Kazan's A Streetcar Named Desire both earned her Academy Awards for Best Actress. This iconic beauty also enjoyed a long and fruitful career in the world of stage acting. Alongside her second husband, the renowned actor Laurence Olivier, Lee graced countless plays and starred in three films, the British productions Fire Over England, 21 Days Together, and That Hamilton Woman. While her time in Hollywood provided fewer opportunities to showcase her talent, two of her roles stand out. First as the captivating ballerina Mira in the wartime romance Waterloo Bridge, and second as the flirtatious middle-aged divorcee in Stanley Kramer's Ship of Fools, which ultimately marked her final appearance on the silver screen. Throughout her adult life, Lee grappled with bipolar disorder and tuberculosis. Tragically, tuberculosis claimed her life in 1967 when she was just 53 years old. Vivian Lee's legacy is defined by her extraordinary talent. You once said you love me. If you still love me, Red. Her indomitable spirit and the unforgettable characters she brought to life. Time for the fancy topic. In the 1960s, this actress was a household name, adored by millions for her wholesome image and captivating performances. Her smile lit up the screens, and her presence was felt in every home. But only her true fans could identify her today. Let us know if you remember her name. However, her story took a shocking turn when it was revealed that she led a double life no one could have imagined. Despite her squeaky clean public persona, this actress had a secret passion. She often danced naked in a Los Angeles nude bar for fun. The remarkable thing was that even though she was the most famous face in America, no one at the bar ever recognized her. She managed to keep her identity hidden under the dim lights and among the crowd, often wearing a mask. Her secret nude escapades were an exhilarating escape from the pressures of stardom. In addition to her shocking nightlife, she continued to deliver stellar performances on screen, never letting her private life affect her career. Her colleagues and fans were completely unaware of her double life. Her ability to balance such contrasting lives was nothing short of astonishing. Can you name this iconic actress? Were you aware of her hidden life away from the spotlight? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag FancyTopic. Number 12. Susan Hayward's Cinematic Journey 
Susan Hayward, the fiery red-headed actress from Brooklyn, initially began her career as a fashion model before embarking on her journey into acting. In 1937, she made the bold move to the West Coast with dreams of landing the coveted role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. Though she fell short of securing that part, her determination was unwavering. She garnered critical acclaim for her dramatic performances in films like Smash Up the Story of a Woman, with a song in my heart, I'll Cry Tomorrow, and most notably, her role as the condemned prostitute Barbara Graham in I Want to Live. Yeah, so was Julius Caesar. I didn't know him either. This outstanding performance earned her the Oscar that would become the crowning achievement of her career. Tragically, Susan Hayward's life was cut short in 1975 when she succumbed to brain cancer at the age of 57. It's been speculated that she may have developed the condition due to her exposure to radioactivity during the filming of The Conqueror near St. George, Utah, an area where the government had conducted nuclear tests. Shockingly, many members of the film's cast, including John Wayne, also lost their lives to the same disease. Hayward's legacy lives on through her memorable performances and the strength she displayed both on and off the screen. Number 11. Rita Hayworth the love goddess. Every man I have ever known has fallen in love with Gilda and awakened with me. This iconic quote perfectly sums up the life of the love goddess of the silver screen, who in reality was a self-proclaimed shy and sensitive woman. Born Margarita Carmen Cancino in 1918 to a couple of professional dancers, Rita's mother aspired for her to become an actress, while her father hoped she would follow in his footsteps as a dancer. Remarkably, both of their wishes came true. She graced the screen in over 60 films, including the quintessential film Noir, Gilda, and beloved musicals Cover Girl and You Were Never Lovelier, where she danced alongside legends like Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire. That's the story that went around, but he... In her personal life, Hayworth experienced two marriages, first to the renowned director Orson Welles and then to Prince Ali Khan, becoming the first movie star turned princess a distinction that preceded Grace Kelly's royal transformation. Rita Hayworth's story took a somber turn when she passed away in 1987 due to complications of Alzheimer's disease. Number 10. Audrey Hepburn's Graceful Legacy Audrey Hepburn, while best remembered as a fashion icon and the charming Holly Go Lightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's, had a depth and breadth far beyond what the public might realize. Born in Belgium, she not only graced the silver screen but also played a significant role in history, helping the Dutch resistance during World War II and earning a reputation as one of the most devoted humanitarians in Hollywood history. Her breakthrough came with a leading role in William Wyler's Roman Holiday, making her the first actress to clinch an Oscar, a BAFTA, and a Golden Globe for the same film. Yes, I ran away last night from school. Hepburn's talent transcended genres. She displayed her competence in comedies like Charade and Love in the Afternoon, excelled in dramas such as Wait Until Dark and The Children's Hour, showcased her grace in musicals while dancing beside Fred Astaire in Funny Face, and even ventured into westerns with The Unforgiven. As the years passed, she gradually shifted from the Hollywood spotlight to impoverished African regions, assuming the role of a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF. Audrey Hepburn's remarkable journey took a poignant turn when she passed away from cancer in Switzerland at the age of 63. Number 9. Greta Garbo's Timeless Appeal Much like her fellow Swedish actress Ingrid Bergman, Greta Garbo initially gained the attention of a Hollywood mogul due to her remarkable work in her native country. She ascended to stardom at MGM during the silent era, with Flesh and the Devil catapulting her to international fame. Her transition to talkies was seamless, marked by her performances in Anna Christie, 1930, and Romance. How wonderful to be happy for no reason. <laughs> These roles not only showcased her talent, but also earned her recognition from the Academy. By 1932, Garbo had become so popular that she had a rare level of influence over her characters enjoyed during old Hollywood. Known for her aversion to publicity, Garbo chose to retire at the young age of 35. She never married, nor had any children. Despite her early retirement, Greta Garbo's legacy endures, with her films continuing to be celebrated and her influence felt in the realms of cinema and fashion. 
Her enigmatic persona and timeless performances ensure that she remains an icon of classic Hollywood. Number 8. Judy Garland's Unforgettable Voice From her early days in vaudeville, Judy Garland's voice was her most prized asset. Born Frances Ethel Gum, she embarked on her Hollywood journey at the tender age of 13. Initially, MGM struggled to find suitable roles for her, but eventually, they found her a place in a series of joyful musicals alongside Mickey Rooney, including classics like Babes in Arms and several beloved Andy Hardy films. Over her career, Garland appeared in more than 20 films for MGM, but none was as iconic as The Wizard of Oz. For her work in The Wizard of Oz, she received an Academy Juvenile Award, and in 1954, she won Best Actress for A Star Is Born. Regrettably, Garland's personal life was fraught with challenges, including four marriages, issues with self-esteem, and a battle with barbiturate addiction that tragically led to her untimely death at the age of 47 in 1969. Her legacy, however, remains intact. Judy Garland's contributions to film and music have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, and her voice continues to inspire new generations of performers and audiences alike. Number 7. Jean Harlow, the original blonde bombshell. The original blonde bombshell had quite an adventurous journey in Hollywood. Running away from home in Kansas City at the tender age of 16, she eloped with businessman Charles McGrew and the young couple set up house in Los Angeles. While their marriage was short-lived, Jean Harlow quickly found her calling as an actress. Her big break came in Howard Hughes' war epic Hell's Angels in 1930. At the pinnacle of her fame while shooting Saratoga, Harlow's health began to deteriorate. She had battled scarlet fever as a teenager, and this experience may have contributed to the kidney disease she was now facing. Tragically, on June 7, 1937, at the age of just 26, the beloved actress succumbed to a cerebral edema brought on by uremia. To complete the film Saratoga, a double had to be used, but the movie still opened to record-breaking attendance. Her charisma and talent inspired many, including the iconic Marilyn Monroe, who considered the platinum blonde actress her idol. Jean Harlow's impact on Hollywood remained significant, and her films continue to be celebrated for their wit and her luminous presence. Number 6. Olivia de Havilland's Illustrious Career Born in Japan in 1916 to British parents, Olivia de Havilland, the older sister of Joan Fontaine, had an intriguing upbringing. Her parents divorced and the girl's fragile health prompted their mother, Lillian, to relocate them to the milder climate of California. It was there that a fateful encounter with Max Reinhardt changed the course of Olivia's life. The director spotted her during a school play of A Midsummer Night's Dream and was captivated by her talent. He invited her to join his stage adaptation of the play and later to Warner Brothers' film version. Olivia de Havilland flourished at Warner Brothers, especially when paired with the charismatic Errol Flynn, with whom she shared the screen in eight films, including swashbuckling classics like The Adventures of Robin Hood and Captain Blood. Her career-defining moment came in 1939 when she portrayed Melanie Wilkes in the legendary epic Gone with the Wind. Although she received Oscar nominations for this role and again for her work in Hold Back the Dawn, she didn't secure a win, losing both times, the latter ironically to her own sister, Joan Fontaine. However, Olivia eventually claimed two Academy Awards for her outstanding dramatic performances in To Each His Own, 1946, and The Heiress, 1949. In 1960, at the age of 44, she made a life-changing decision to move to Paris. Olivia de Havilland's illustrious career spanned over five decades, and her contributions to cinema and the legal rights of actors remain a significant part of Hollywood history. Number 5. Elizabeth Taylor, Hollywood's Violet-Eyed Icon Elizabeth Taylor, with her enchanting violet eyes, started her journey in Hollywood as an MGM child prodigy. But it wasn't long before she transitioned into more mature roles that would define her illustrious career. In the 1950s, she graced the silver screen alongside big names like Montgomery Clift and Rock Hudson in George Stevens' brilliant A Place in the Sun. Her portrayal in the epic saga Giant further solidified her place in Hollywood's pantheon. As the decade neared its end, 
Taylor's career reached new heights when she was nominated for an Academy Award for her compelling performance as Paul Newman's neglected wife in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. While Taylor's life off-screen was marked by extravagance, her on-screen skills were nothing short of remarkable. She clinched two Academy Awards, first for Butterfield 8 and then for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Moreover, she was a passionate humanitarian, actively contributing to AIDS research and various charity projects. Despite a lifetime of health struggles, Elizabeth Taylor, the last major star introduced by the studio system, impacted Hollywood forever. Her legacy continues through her films and her philanthropic efforts, making her a timeless figure in cinematic history. Number 4. Barbara Stanwyck, Hollywood's Versatile Star Barbara Stanwyck's life story reads like a Hollywood script itself. From a tumultuous childhood as an impoverished orphan to a marriage marked by abuse and alcoholism, her journey to stardom was nothing short of remarkable. Many even saw her life as the inspiration for the 1937 film A Star is Born, given the striking similarities. While some of her contemporaries may have gained more iconic status over time, there's no denying that Stanwyck was the most versatile and talented actress of her era. She had an extraordinary ability to embody a wide range of characters on the silver screen. What's truly remarkable is that she achieved all this without relying on the studio system. Stanwyck was a strong, independent force in Hollywood. Yet, despite her incredible talent, she never clinched a competitive Oscar, a fact that the Academy tried to remedy by honoring her with a well-deserved honorary award in 1982. You got your wish. Barbara Stanwyck's illustrious career spanned over 60 years, during which she appeared in more than 80 films. She earned her place as a Hollywood legend and an inspiration to actors everywhere, demonstrating that hard work and talent could overcome even the most challenging beginnings. Number 3. Ginger Rogers, Dancing into History As the saying goes, Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, except backward and in high heels. But it was her partnership with the legendary Fred Astaire that truly defined the golden age of Hollywood. From their first enchanting collaboration in 1933's Flying Down to Rio, to their graceful final act in The Barclays of Broadway in 1949, Ginger and Fred became the quintessential symbol of the era's cinematic magic. Yet Rogers was not just a gifted dancer. She was also a splendid comedian, bringing laughter to the screen with unforgettable performances in films like Bachelor Mother and The Major and the Minor. Her talents extended far beyond comedy. She demonstrated her dramatic prowess by winning an Oscar for her remarkable work in 1940's Kitty Foyle. And it has been won by you, Miss Ginger Rogers, and I'm very happy. In 1965, Ginger Rogers gracefully stepped away from the silver screen. She also authored a best-selling autobiography, giving fans a glimpse into her extraordinary life. Her legacy as a dancer, actress, and icon of Hollywood's golden age remains unmatched. Number 2. Rosalind Russell, Queen of Comedy Rosalind Russell, known for her quick wit and impeccable comedic timing, stands as one of Hollywood's finest comedians. Her early roles often cast her as a refined lady, exemplified in films like The Citadel and Under Two Flags. However, it was in 1939's The Women that her comedic genius truly blossomed. Her portrayal of Sylvia Fowler in this all-female comedy was nothing short of iconic. Following her standout performance in The Women, Russell secured her signature role as Hildy Johnson, a fast-talking and sharp-witted reporter in Howard Hawks' His Girl Friday. Rosalind Russell was not only known for her comedic roles, but also for her dramatic performances. Her versatility as an actress allowed her to take on a wide range of characters, earning her critical acclaim and several award nominations. She was also a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for better roles and opportunities for female actors. Number 1. Carol Lombard, Queen of Screwball Comedy From a young age, Jane Alice Peters, who would later become the beloved Carol Lombard, was a spirited tomboy. Remarkably, 
It was during a neighborhood baseball game with boys in her LA community that her talent was discovered at the tender age of 12. After initially appearing in short features, Paramount recognized her potential and decided to give the young actress a chance. Lombard's career began in the silent era, but her sweet voice proved to be a valuable asset with the arrival of talkies. Her brief marriage to William Powell in the early 1930s also played a role in advancing her career. However, it was her collaboration with director Howard Hawks in 20th Century that truly showcased Lombard's comedic talents to the world. After her marriage to screen legend Clark Gable, Lombard appeared in Alfred Hitchcock's Mr. and Mrs. Smith and delivered a brilliant performance as Maria in To Be or Not To Be. Tragically, this would be her final film. The queen of screwball comedies met an untimely end in 1942 when she died in a plane crash while returning home from a war bond tour. She was just 33 years old. Carol Lombard's legacy as a comedic genius and her contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated, making her an enduring icon of classic Hollywood. Is there an actress from this list who you think deserves even more recognition? Or perhaps you'd like to delve deeper into the careers of these remarkable women? Let us know in the comments below.